Oh hey, welcome back to another video. Um, it's been one week since my uh, video I said I'm gonna come back to YouTube. And uh, yeah, I didn't really uh, explain clearly um, what's going on or, or something, but uh, maybe in the future I'll explain it. But for now, um, I want to actually, uh, you know, focus on content. I did say in that video that I want to focus on content that I truly like. And uh, one of them is actually to talk about things that are happening um, around the world. Not really just only around the world, but also around what's going on on YouTube, which I think is probably, I think one of my primer, primary focus on this channel is to actually uh, um, talk about stuff on YouTube or talk about things, anything in general. And uh, of course, still, I will still do some uh, gaming, uh, but I need to find some other games to play because uh, there's obviously uh, games that I can't afford. We kids, uh, some kids out there like me, we can't afford what games there are. You know, we can't afford Overwatch. We can't, we can't, we can't afford um PUBG we can't afford like CSGO I'm that kind of kid so <laughs> so there's no choice but to play Roblox but uh anyways uh enough talking about that let's go ahead and uh, get into our main content of this video which is to kind of sum up what's going on on YouTube this year um really because I think uh I want maybe I'll do a little bit of a YouTube rewind my own YouTube rewind this is kind of like my own YouTube rewind um which is pretty interesting I would say um so um let's talk about the time when uh yeah I mean this year has been a pretty interesting year really um you know long ride down uh, a very very big journey uh, i might also talk about my channel along the way i'm not very too sure maybe not actually <laughs> uh, i don't know i let, let's just talk about what's going on around the world uh in, in youtube itself in the community let's talk about when uh, in february okay one of the big things on youtube one of the biggest um situations that happen on youtube is the fact that um one of the biggest youtubers which obviously is pewdiepie um was actually dropped out of his uh youtube red show uh his season two of his youtube red show which is called um scare pewdiepie season two and uh for this because um the, th the reason why he was dropped out of uh, the uh, YouTube Red series, reason why, he, uh, basically his show got cancelled. Okay, it's not that he's got dropped out or I don't know if it's the same meaning, but it's the thing is that it the show got cancelled because um, PewDiePie actually made like a Nazi joke, which obviously is not really like a Nazi joke. It was, you know, it's basically just, um, you know, there are things he said, okay, he may have he may have taken it too far, but those those jokes are I don't know. I I don't know if I really want to give my personal opinion on this, but the thing is anyways, um in February uh, on the day of Valentine's Day, um no, nah, I should just say February 14th. Uh, Wall Street Journal um reported was the first one that reported that um PewDiePie was an anti-Semite and uh, he got cancelled. Uh, Wall Street Journal actually was the one who uh, approached Disney, uh, which is the company PewDiePie worked with. Um, you know, yeah, he worked with Disney, I guess. And also uh, YouTube, they also reached out to YouTube and they were like, okay, we're gonna cancel his show. <laughs> Uh, they reached out to them first and not to 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 PewDiePie, so which is really absurd, which is kind of like fake news, and it it sparked a lot of controversy back that back at that time, and uh, a lot of reporters were outside of his house and everything, and it was such a big deal back then, uh, early this year, uh, February twenty seventeen, which is obviously early this year. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, what else is there? Um, there's also March, April, May, um, but nothing much really happened during those months. Um, I think, yeah, nothing much really happened during March and April. But the the thing in May is that at the end of May, uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys know at the end of May, um, Sorry, I'm gonna have to <laughs> um, talk about my own experience. Obviously, I think some of you guys know uh, at the end of May and in the early of June, which is 30, 31, 1st and 2nd of um, May and June. Uh, at, the, at that period of time, I actually went to uh, Hanoi, Vietnam, which is actually the capital city of Vietnam. Uh, in case you didn't know, 
Um, Ho Chi Minh is not actually the uh, the capital city. It may look like it because it's like a lot of it's a, an urban area. It's a very very kind of like a prestigious rich area, but it's not actually the capital city. If you Google it up, it's actually uh, not a capital city. It's actually a uh, one of the cities in Vietnam. But Hanoi is the capital city. Um, but I think um, other than that, on the 30th of May, particularly on that day. Um, there was <laughs> I can't I can't talk about this. It's really one of the probably maybe I don't know slightly more cringe than my my content, which is uh, I think most of the meme people would know. It actually that song yes it's a song that was released on 30th of May 2017, and that song is a diss track so called a diss track to his um, brother Logan Paul. Obviously, I'm talking about Jake Paul, who released a song in May called It's Everyday Bro. <laughs> it's a very cringy song, very, um, I don't know, outrageous song, really just, man, puking? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I would say, I mean, I'm, I don't know, I probably would stand on both sides of the fence, but probably leaning towards um, the people who don't like the song, because uh, obviously I also don't really like the song. Um, only the Nick Crompton part, I do like it, <laughs> um, because England is everyone's city, I guess. Yeah, so yeah, um, Jake Paul, I think, was the one who actually started all this, uh, you know, um, this track um, chain. Uh, he started the diss track chain, and uh, Logan Paul in June um, made a diss track on him. And then uh, when KSI actually, when KSI came back onto YouTube actually, because he was gone for a few months, when KSI actually came back on YouTube, uh, he was actually uh, also made a diss track. Um, after he said he was gonna leave the sidemen, he's gonna he uh, sidemen uh, one of the actually two of the sidemen members actually dissed him. And uh, his brother actually uh, got mad and uh, he dissed them back, but uh, dissed the whole Sidemen crew back. But KSI uh, also uh, made a diss track, but two of them, two diss tracks, okay? Two diss tracks, one on, on one of those guys and the other one on another one of those guys. But his brother uh, made a diss track on all of them, all of them at once, um, which was pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, that was in the period of June, July, and uh, yeah, July was also the time when I quit YouTube, I'm sure you all know, and then I come back now. <laughs> and then August uh, was when Jake Paul continued to diss track. Um, September, October, a lot of things happened. October was the month, actually. Uh, I don't know, if, oh no, no, September, September. Let's talk about September first. September was the month where uh, PewDiePie, again, PewDiePie was the one... Uh, he was live streaming on YouTube and he accidentally said the n-word which sparked a lot of controversy and uh, developers wanted to uh, strike him a copyright strike right there and um, a lot of things happened and uh, yeah and in October, um, October was the month, the best month, I think one of the best months of all um, during my end of your examinations, um, October the 3rd. Uh, was uh, the day when iDubs, I'm sure you guys know who iDubs is. iDubs is the one who makes the content cop. He did release a content cop on that day, a 30 minute video. And uh, at the end of the video, uh, he made a diss track um, towards uh, Rice Gum, which basically uh, the content cop was a, uh, he made a clickbait title. People think, he, he made people think that it's Jake Paul, but and then when Rice Gum sees it, um, and then it's a Jake Paul, uh, it's a content cop on Jake Paul. And I think uh, the thing is that iDubs wanted to give R R Rice Gum the satisfaction of him not being in the title or not too sure what's going on. But anyways, um, it wasn't a, a content cop on Jake Paul, it was a content cop more towards Rice Gum. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, really, really, really uh, fire lit a, a very very lit this track but uh i think uh, that's pretty much all for today's um video that's pretty much it uh for 2017 in a nutshell um sorry the video is gonna run out of, of space uh, i don't know um i'll be making more videos um i don't know just have to see gonna end the video. <laughs> uh hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys next time